do it. Every Friday we do this, man. Vegas film critic Jeff Howard in studio. And Halloween. I love the shirt, by the oh, way. Oh, but I have a bunch <laughs> of different shirts. Yeah. Halloween, really? this is my favorite month. I've got some cool new shirts. Uh, we got some exciting things to talk about. We're going to kick Halloween into full gear here, starting okay. with the Exorcist Believer. We, we were got... talking about this yesterday. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Nah. There was no Exorcist 2. Uh, yeah, there it was were the lots heretic. Of them. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. The you heretic. Kidding? That's, but <laughs> not, but was that, I was saying, I don't know that those were actual. It was considered a sequel. It of, was. Okay. That's what I thought. You okay. had Reagan, okay. you know, oh, continue Mr. Movie it. over there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I, I'm just saying, but that's what I thought. she was not in Dear, it. You know, Ellen no, no. Burstyn wasn't in no, any no, of No, no, she's in this one now. 50 years yeah. later. Yeah, yeah, she's in this one. It's about these twin girls who come out of the forest yeah. and uh, are supposedly demonically possessed, you know? Yeah. So if you, anyone who saw the original, even to this day, I watched it recently because oh, of the 50th anniversary, it still holds up. Yeah, And, you know, and if you're any kind of believer, you know, you're clutching your crucifix doing the whole movie. Oh, Catholic. Yeah, it was like the Protestant scariest here. thing on earth. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So Ooh. head out to the theater if you want to see this from David Gordon Green, who did the reboot of the Halloween films. Is okay. it good? And from Blumhouse. Uh, no comment. Okay. <laughs> wow. All right. uh, okay. Yes. All right. Okay. I, I did not like it. I didn't think no, it worked at be all. Honest. Okay. Yeah. No, and it's almost two hours long. It's just like it's just. There's a lot of problems no. with. It. We need all the whole show to talk about. Okay. But, but yeah. go check out the episodes. What else? Okay. Also, we got out streaming on Paramount Plus. We've got Pet Cemetery Bloodlines. We it's the oh. prequel. Yes. Did you see it yet, Morty? No. Oh my gosh, it's uh, it's pretty good. It really is. So it's the origin story of it. it takes place in 1969. So it's one of my favorite uh, Stephen King short stories, and also it's one of my favorite uh, uh, reboots that they had recently. So yeah. streaming over there on Paramount Plus. So we got something. So just don't go in the pet cemetery. You know the premise where yeah. you bury something dead and it comes back alive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's why I want a bell on my if I'm in a box. Oh, Hi, yeah. I'm here. <laughs> they used to bury people alive they did, by yeah. mistake. I yes, guess. and yes. they put a bell. They put a bell on the side so they could oh, ring it. Or pulling your leg. That's where yeah. the expression yeah. came from too. Yes. Are Save you alive there? By the bell. Yeah, that's Save by right. the bell. Yeah, the horrible oh, show. Oh, anyway. speaking of horrible, we also have another orange uh, face horror monster in the White House uh, this time. <laughs> Uh, thanks, Carla. I did that joke just for you. Uh, <laughs> we have Chucky is back. In, yes. Oh, God. In an all-new season, season three. And it's really cool about what they do. You can watch it on Sci-Fi Channel. You can watch it on USA. It's also streaming on Peacock. And you can watch the first episode on YouTube. But Chucky's in the White House this season. <laughs> it's I, outrageous. Do they ridiculous. just sit there and go, what premise haven't <laughs> yes. we done? And Let's get, see. Yeah. It's an election year. Let's put Chucky in the White House. But how do we get him in there? And is he going to kill people? Yes. Oh, my God. You people know, so watch it. it is yeah. so ridiculous. It's so it's one of the biggest shows on television, and it's just it is so much fun. And Brad Dourif is back doing the voice of Chucky. If you haven't been to Halloween Horror Nights at Universal Studios, they have the Chucky House, which is just one of my favorite things in the world. So. I noticed that they redid Chucky's face just a tiny <laughs> bit. His his stature is a little teeny tiny bit, like updated. Yes, you know, even he is, got work done. He yeah, did. Yeah, yes, he, did. he even did. Yes, Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. See, they were Hollywood. worried about the German Shepherd. <laughs> Welcome to Hollywood. <laughs> you know, you got to worry about Chucky. Yeah, exactly. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> so check out Chucky. Also, I brought for our listeners Transformers: Rise of the Beast. It's from our friends over at Paramount Home Entertainment. Over an hour of action-packed bonus content. It is the 4K Blu-ray, DV, excuse me, 4K Ultra HD and digital code. And nice. uh, I'm a big Transformers fan, so this I is like one, I like this one a lot. So it's all right, really first cool. two people on the phone right now. Do it. 702-739-9636. Always good stuff. Follow them on Facebook, the YouTube channel, of course, and VegasFilmCritic.com. Jeff, love the orange shirt. See you next week. Absolutely. <laughs>